He does, does not like this. Yeah. That guy. What, why did he not? I know. I know. I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you are dramatic. Your definition so of dramatic is just I'm just a living, expressive person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eric, it's a f***ing game, dude. <laughs> Y'all are just making a YouTube video. You are not at couples therapy right now, dude. Look at him in the freaking screenshot. Hey everybody, my name's Anthony Restinello. I'm a social and relationship coach living in Los Angeles. What I do here on this channel is react to people that you may be inspired by and break down exactly what's going on in the interactions that they're having in hopes to teach you something for your own relationships. Today we're gonna cover Colleen Ballinger's relationship. Let's get started. Who's more likely to start an argument? This one might cause an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to start an argument? What's an argument? Yeah, he's Ready already arguing. Are you giving me to explain <laughs> snoring Did and just... arguments? Have you never heard of snoring or arguments? Who's more likely to finish an argument? Or try to, I guess. I don't I know guess if it finishes. Finish means like, I'm just going to walk away now? <laughs> or just walking away? No, I apologize. I'm nice. I don't like storm away like anger. It's like... <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Slam the door. What? I've never slammed a door. This is a, this is a tip. We he thinks <laughs> I slam the door when he so he goes to bed before me, and then I will work till like three or four in the morning, and then I'll come in the room and literally open like it'll take me twenty minutes to open and close the door because I'm doing it so quietly, and he will sit up in bed and be like, "What's going on?" No, I'll go, Jesus. Right. <laughs> no, because you so literally are slamming doors. He's he always the next day he's like, You slammed the door. I'm like, I literally couldn't have done it quieter. You like <laughs> non confrontational no passive aggressive in the dictionary. It's just a picture of you quietly slamming the door. It's how do you quietly slam the door? Exactly. The point is he thinks you of, somehow have managed to be able to no. quietly slam We have a lot of questions to get through. There's There's something about their relationship where they seem to bicker in this video. But weirdly, that tells me that their relationship is not all that bad. Their relationship is probably a lot more fun and positive and non-dramatic behind the scenes. I would assume couples that are so, so pristine on camera are the ones that probably have, what is it, skeletons in the closet? I don't know. <laughs> bad things going on in the background because they're purposely trying to put on a really good act for the viewers. But I actually like that Colleen and Eric, Colleen and Eric are being so real about who they are and their relationship dynamic in this video. There's nothing bad or toxic going on. It's normal couple stuff. And I actually appreciate what Colleen is showing us. It's vulnerable, it's real, it's authentic. Who's more dramatic? <laughs> what do you mean dramatic? I am very dramatic about little things in life. So are you. But you are very dramatic. <laughs> he's You're very He's dramatic. getting dramatic right now. Ex go on. Lovey. Dramatic? You're so dramatic. I have a degree in drama. Yes, <laughs> and you use it every day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're dr you can't admit you're dramatic. I don't understand what you mean by if dramatic. If the ketchup is in the wrong place, who moved the ketchup? Oh, this that's... is a catastrophe. <laughs> that's drama? <laughs> yes, it's yeah. dramatic. If you like overreact to things, yeah. it's drama. Who moved the ketchup? I've never been upset about who moved the I know, ketchup. but it's like an example of like the type of thing. That that's you your do. example is that the ketchup is in the wrong Like if something place. is put in the wrong place, you get really upset about it. Not upset, but just dramatic about it. You do. I think what's going on is Eric is uncomfortable in front of the camera. He feels boxed in, like the world's looking at him. And because of that, he's kind of acting in this kind of way. But it's also funny that for each question, they're almost blaming each other always on every single thing that comes up. And I love how each time it happens, Eric is the one that takes offense. Helene is the one that seems to not really care. <laughs> Look at Eric right now. His arms are crossed. He really is the dramatic one. <laughs> and he always tries to get her to explain what she really means. Because I don't think he likes <laughs> these little judgments. I don't think Eric likes being criticized. <laughs> and it's a good thing that Colleen is, so it's so funny for me saying Colleen, because I'm trying to say it seriously, but it just sounds so silly. 
it's it's a good thing that Colleen is such <laughs> it's such a sweetheart. She is more of a softy, so that you know, if she says something, Eric is not gonna blow up because she's always going to be a little more light submissive about the situation. Ridiculous! You're driving down the street. Oh, what? <laughs> Slamming the brake repeatedly for no reason, yes. Watch where you're going. Oh, if you switch and lanes without a not like this. Blink around, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Have that guy. What, why did he not? I know. I know. I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you are dramatic. Your definition so of dramatic is just I'm just a living, expressive person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eric, it's a fucking game, dude. <laughs> Y'all are just making a YouTube video. You are not at couples therapy right now, dude. Look at him in the freaking screenshot. Outwardly, outgoingly dramatic. You regularly- She's trying to like calm it down, soften the blow of what she said while not taking it back. And he's just not giving in. I think he's watching this. Is this just probably us not. hanging out? It's probably just, I don't think anyone's watching anymore. I doubt it. It's just us hanging out. There's no way someone's still watching. Okay. If you're still watching. So what please. you have to put down, what you think my worst habit is, and I'm going to write down my worst habit, and we want them to match. What's a habit? And what's like, a habit what's is like, like a... Uh, something that is not good for you, that you need, like a habit is something that you do a lot that is not good for you that you should not be doing. Like it's a bad habit. Right. You want me to write that down? Yes, write down. You want to? You are not going to upset me or offend me. Um. And we want our answers to match. Okay. Ready? Yeah. So this is my worst habit. Finger skin bite rip <laughs> is what he says. Mine says eating my fingers, which is the same thing. Yeah, or being, being messy. messy I thought going. I thought that's what you were going to put. Yeah. But yes, I have something called dermatillomania. But I, but I don't want to call it like a bad habit though because, because like it's, it's like, like a, a, I know, I know. It's like a bionosis. Like right, it's right. It's something a, I can't really. I didn't want to like say a, it's an EO. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll stop there. I think they have a great relationship. I think what's going on is Eric is a little uncomfortable in front of the camera like this. Maybe not in acting, but in front of the camera where it's really both of them. I think maybe he's the type that doesn't like coming off too gregarious or charismatic so as to seem fake on camera. So what he might do is introvert himself, come off a little more cold, but I have a very weird feeling that they're a lot more goofy off camera. So I think they're a good example of an extrovert and an introvert kind of balancing each other out. It seems like Colleen is more of an extrovert and Eric is more of an introvert. And I could be wrong, but he looks more of like an introverted feeler and Colleen looks more of like an extroverted feeler. And they, that kind of complements each other. And my girlfriend's an extroverted feeler, I'm an introverted feeler, and we complement each other. Now, as much as I saw in this video, it still wasn't enough for me to get a good read on their relationship and be able to teach you a lot. And like I said, what I love doing in these videos is being able to teach you something based on what I see from somebody that you're inspired by. So if you liked this video, get it to 200,000 views or 10,000 likes, whatever comes first, and I will do a part two on Colleen and Eric. In other news, I just released an online dating program called Textual Healing, where I teach you how to set up a profile, how to message somebody, and how to get them on a date, especially somebody that you're actually really attracted to, not just anybody, and how to turn that date into something more. Now, this is for both men and women, non-binary, all genders. You can get it in the link in the description. Bye-bye.